Hey up, Rock God 2004 back with another video for you. And I have had a delivery uh, from 88 Films. Um, Pre-order and it's come out, I think, a week or two early. Uh, it is a 4K. I've never seen the film. I've always wanted to. Um... I can never get in. I've got a nice spot of dip in the freezer from MNAS. Oh, oh, you've sold me there, Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, with a bit of fresh cream. Oh, that sounds like my sort of dick. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> Too much tape on this, you know. It's gone right over me flaps. That's what she said. Disgusting. One go. And I'm trying to hack away at this bloody cellar tape. Right, let's have a look at that. See if it is the one. Yes, it is the one I was expecting. So, this is the <sighs> 4K UHD of Jess Franco's Count Dracula. One of the rare times, I think it's he only did it twice, or was it three times, that Christopher Lee played Dracula, which wasn't a Hammer film. Apparently this one is based more on the Bram Stoker novel. <coughs> and you can see Christopher Lee looks different with his uh, grey hair and big, dirty, great big pontash. Um, it's got the 4K and the Blu-ray. Now then... I've got this dirt cheap. I had this pre-ordered on Amazon. 30 quid. And uh, I went on 88 Films the other day. And it was in the sale. For 25 quid. I also had my points voucher for a tenner. So I've got this for 15 quid. Postage on top as well, obviously, but 15 quid, I'm over the moon. Um, this had a delay for some reason. I'm hoping that there's not a, a you know, a, a, um, you know, a thingy, a doofer, a what's it thing. Program replacement thing. We'll see. So, I'm going to give it the old... Um, I do that because I, I, I like to listen to myself do ASMR. I don't really, but I do like that sound. Give me a sec. Two thousand years later. Tis done. Uh, right. Oh, it's one of those, um, it's one of those nice textured, uh, slip covers. I'm not taking that off. Right, so what's that? Oh. Smells divine. So it's the same artwork on the front. Features and all that build you there. I'm just going to hold that there because I don't have any glasses on to read it. So if you want to read it, there you go. I'm hoping you can see that. Blu-ray, let's double check that there's no gouges, always check your discs boys and girls, always check your discs, not a mark, and you get a booklet, a 
and same artwork not a mark on it thankfully for the 4k um let's have a little look at this book then oh i say that's very nice oh i say look at that so it does say bram stoker's count dracula Herbert Lom and Klaus Kinski. What? It's got a decent cast, mind. I have heard that this is supposed to be rubbish, but I don't know. I always think, like, with a cast like that, it's got to be something in it. I'm not Don't get me wrong, I'm not expecting it to be brilliant. What a nice little book that this is. I like this. It's got, like, it's not white. It's like a cream colour. And I love the artwork. It does look... Um, it does look like a hammer film, like on these images, but it's, obviously it's not. It's not a thick book. Do you know what? For some reason, I thought you got a poster in this. And that's that. Uh, where the hell have I put that now? Thanks. Does it have alternate artwork? Yes, it does. That's getting swapped over. Excellent. You'd think, wouldn't you, that when they um, put the new artwork on the slip, that they'd like, automatically switch this round for you, but they don't. Well, I do like their artwork. However, they've they've put the proper foreign title, but that's nice. I've never seen that one before. There's Klaus Kinski there. Oh, God, he looks young there. Christopher Lee looks about six hundred and twenty-two. Um, where's my glasses? I'm just going to double check. It doesn't say poster, right? Let's have a look. And like, bloody bloody blah. Alternate titles. It was a trailer. Brand new artwork by Graham Humphreys. Ah, and reversible sleeve with original poster art. Does it say on the slip cover? Limited edition slip case. Limited edition booklet. Notes. Featuring new writing on the film. Brand new transfer. Blah de blah de blah. Optionals. Audio comedy with film critics. Kim Newman and Sean Hogan. I like Kim, New Kim Newman. He's on the uh, video nasties. Um, documentaries. There's him and Mark Morris and um, Stephen Thrower and Alan Jones. So knowledgeable. I love, I love those people. Audio commentary. Audio commentary. Dracula in the South Illustrated. Nights of Three interview. Blah -de blah blah. blah. No, there's no poster. Thankfully, it's not missing. I'm not saying thankfully there's not a poster. I'm just thankful that there isn't one and I don't have it. Graham, oh, Graham Humphrey's artwork, man. Wow. You can't fault it for me. Love him. I think he's amazing. There's the odd one of his I've not liked. Um, it's very, very rare that I don't like his stuff. In fact, I think the Graham Humphreys one looks better than the original, to be honest, on that one. So, really nice, sturdy card, slip cover. Um, I say I've never seen this before, but really looking forward to watching this. I've been fancying watching some Hammer films as well, funnily enough, so I may well watch some more Draculas. Um, and Michael sent me this as well. I might be on a bit of a vampire... Uh, Spree here, <laughs> um, and me and the lads, you know, Keith, Andy, and Scott. I'll leave links below to their channel. We are about having a little watch along at some point as well with a well known vampire film. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna watch some vampire stuff. I do, however, need to watch some other things as well, but yeah. Very, very nice, uh, and and the fact that I got it for 15 quid, I am absolutely ecstatic. Jess Franco's Count Dracula on 4K, with Blu-ray included. Another little quick one for you there. 
But just to point out as well, just in case you didn't know, but you know, like if you order direct off Arrow's website, they do have like a points system where your points build up. And the more you, obviously, the more you buy, your points build up. And then when you order, you can get money off. So I think Arrow do a five pound, a ten pound, and I think it's a fifteen pound voucher. So you could you could order if you if you've got the full amount for the fifteen, you could order like one of their box sets, the ones that are like thirty, forty quid, and get fifteen quid of it. Well, eighty eight films do the same as well. Um, and I've, I don't think I've ever used the points on eighty eight films. I thought I wonder how much I've got. And I had obviously more than what I thought I did. I did have 15, but they don't do 15. I had to spend another so much to get more points. And I would have had 20 quid. But that means I would have had to buy Count Dracula at full price to get that. So I thought, nah, I'm having this now. 15 pound. Thank you very much. I'm happy with that. And because I was messing about, don't fall into the trap that I did. Once you go to your points and you click claim reward, that's it. It's active live. And you only have so long to spend it then. Because I clicked a 10 and a 5 thinking I would get 15 off. You don't. If you click 1, it's all you get off. So I do now have an active £5 off voucher. So I'll probably look for a Blu-ray that I need. Um, There's a couple I want off there. But obviously I've got to wait. I've got the money now. Um, but yeah, I think, it's, I think it's a good thing. You still pay postage, a couple of quid postage. But even so... You're still getting it for a lot less. It's it's definitely worth doing. So yeah, both eighty eight films and Arrow films do that. Um, so if you if you've not bought of their white their websites direct, it's worth doing. Um. So yes, there you go. Let me know if you've got this film or if you've ever seen this film. I'd like to know your opinions before I watch it. If you can, don't have to give me any spoilers or anything. I just let me know. Is it is it decent? Is it all right? Is it garbage? Is it as good as the hammer stuff? Is it nowhere near as good as the hammer stuff? Is it anything like that god awful Bram Stoker's Dracula that's got Gary Oldman in? Because I hate that film. I only watched it once. I was like, never again. It was nothing like Dracula to me. I hated it. I could even go with it being like the Bella Lugosi stuff, if but obviously a coloured version. So. Without any spoilers, not there's any spoilers to do, we know what happens to Dracula. But do you think I'm going to like it? And do you like it? Let me know in the comments. Um, as you all know by now, I do read all the comments. I do miss the odd one, but I catch up eventually when I go through, because I double check after a few weeks or months. <laughs> so often I miss them, but I do. Uh, anyway, done. Dusted. Thank you very much for watching, all two of you. I really do appreciate it. Um, thank you so much, every single one of you, for all the support uh, and for everybody who's subscribed as well. Thank you so, so much. Um, it does mean the world to me, and you've helped me get this far. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna jinx it by saying what I'm coming up to, but you can always go and have a look. Um, but it has, it has like you know, it gets to a certain point, then it slows down. And then you start getting more again. It's really strange. I mean, to be I'll be blatantly honest with you. If I didn't get another subscription, I wouldn't lose any sleep and I wouldn't stop doing the videos because this is my hobby. It's what I'm passionate about and I love doing it. Um, but to know that people are watching your stuff, I can't tell you like how good it does make you feel. It makes you feel like, wow, who the hell? Because I never thought anybody would want to watch me when I when I first started. Um, so yeah over the moon thank you very much indeed everybody i really do appreciate it. so i shall see you very soon on the next video and i think my next video is going to be i'm pretty 99 percent certain actually it's going to be the final part of the video nasties section two so we'll get that one finished and then i've got the mammoth task <laughs> of starting section three there's 80 odd films in section three so my next video all being well i want to say will be the last section two video of the video nasties you all take care of yourselves i'll see you all very soon love you lot flight jelly top
Nob. Oh, I say, I'm on a roll here. <laughs> what a bell end! And I think to myself, what the fuck?